Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by Ghostbed.com. Cut. What? Just kidding. What? <laughs> no. I was like, no. <laughs> you do not cut me off during the <laughs> intro of the show. That is Hans Zimmer. <laughs> that is Hans over. Zimmer. Are we? I don't know if we're paid up for 2020, though. Oh, with Hans Zimmer? Uh, Probably not. Because you don't want... Here's what I know just from watching Die Hard and other movies. You mm -hmm. don't want someone named Hans coming after you. <laughs> Ever. Oh my Ever God, I've learned life. anything from Like Die You can Hard. get out of it eventually, but your feet are going to get bloody and all this other Hans, shit. I don't yeah. have time Hans, for them. that. No, yeah. you don't no, want any Hanses nothing. on the show. Two things, kids, at the top here. One... As always, we are live on YouTube for the news. You will notice we are not wearing fancy jackets and or hats today. So we've actually got some serious topics, uh, which we'll get to in a moment. Uh, but first, we have Tiffany Hart and Jesse Wiseman on the show today. Welcome, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. you. Welcome. Jesse's a, a mainstay on the news. Tiff's seems to be always around because she's in town. Now we'll explain why. Uh, seems to be always I mean, around. Like, is Tiffany Hart because she's sticking in town. around? She, I was like, am I wearing on my welcome? Tell me because I'll leave. You were, yeah. you were definitely she not. She just won't leave. Yeah. No, you're definitely not. And, and here's why. Uh, Tiffany's been around uh, for a very long time with us. Not only is she one of our favorite guests ever to be on the show, but we are doing a spinoff show that starts Monday nights at 8 p.m. EST called Drinking Broettes. Woo! Which will be Tiffany and Jesse. This one's for the ladies. What do you have yes. heard you? We're making a show for ladies, and you're welcome. Yeah. Sorry that we won't be talking about dicks all the time and a bunch yeah, of dudes. Yeah, but if you're a if you're a secure man, yeah. you can you tune in, too, maybe though. learn something. No, you can and just laugh. You're probably not going to learn anything. Yeah, I was going to say, you're definitely not going to learn You're not going to learn anything. I mean, you can learn to be a better man, actually, maybe, like a spouse, yeah, a boyfriend, yeah. or whatever. You can learn what your crazy chick is really thinking. Really exactly. thinking. I don't want to know. You might yeah. learn You the, don't? No. Yeah. Can you imagine knowing I know. that? Like, Eesh. so that, that new move, they made a fucking What Women Want Now. Have you seen this? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. oh, I saw yeah. that. Yeah, like yeah. a new one. Dave Chappelle tackled this a long time ago. Like, you could never make that movie in a real way. Because I can tell, no. like you, don't oh, want, no. you, you don't do want not to want to know what I'm thinking no. all the time. Mm -mm. It would not be an advantage to you. It would ruin your life. I don't want to know. What <laughs> oh my god, we would hate either. you guys, yeah. right? Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, it would be terrible. You guys would hate every dude. On and the by planet. the way, yeah. vice versa. To be fair, oh absolutely. Like, I don't want them to know what I'm thinking. I like my inner thoughts. You wouldn't in my like it. Monologue. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So look, you'll be able to get that once a week on Monday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard <laughs> Time, and uh, with I think with the success of Caller Daddy. Um, you know, on Barstool, mm -hmm. we we got to listen for the first time, like at least in podcast form, about two girls who were fucking 22 years old living in New York, fucking everybody. <laughs> this is totally different from that, so we want to give you guys a heads up in advance. Of we're right. not talking about fucking just everyone all the time because we're both married. We talk about how we used to. We used to. Yeah. Oh, we definitely <laughs> told us the stories of back in the days. Yeah, because we look, have a lot. We all have a past. We all. Stop looking at me, Ross. I will definitely tell you all of it. There's no, we don't hold any bars. Yeah, we don't hold back. I, yeah. I don't talk about How my past. long ago does something have to have happened for it to be the past? I mean, technically, technically, it's any amount of time, but uh, like if I mean that you're okay with talking if, about If I'm saying like, well, I used to do this and I just did it 20 minutes ago, technically that is true. That is true. Yeah. Right. But relationship-wise, so, I'm going to talk about anything before pre him, obviously. Marriage. Like, like, before, before him. Yeah. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. Even if it's like just we the night before Tinder we got days. married. So hi hypothetically, if I was married, from the point that the document was signed and filed, yep. that's the cutoff? That's anything what I'm before saying. that, including Bachelor the relationship parties. before that is pretty much... I mean, before. Yeah, does that include That's bachelor parties? It's a great question. Let's stop living in the I past. I didn't do a bachelor party for when I married Chris, <laughs> but I did one for my ex husband. That was. Fun. No, wait, the wife should not have anything to do with a bachelor yeah, party. Yeah, what do you mean? You a bachelor did a party ba is. Oh, a bachelorette party. Oh, oh you did a bachelorette party. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A bachelor a party bachelor. is made for a small group of men to get together, do things that they would normally do, commit some crimes, probably murder a prostitute. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Drugs. Bond yep. over that. Yeah, you want to bond over a murder because all, you're all going to be dirtbags for the rest of your yeah. life. You need to know that none of them are going to tell your wife about all the fucked up shit you do around them. 
Oh, so you're saying at a bachelor oh. party you need to commit I'm saying it's a, a murder yeah, yeah. on or top of all the other stuff so that you have it to hold against them. It's not. It's called mutually assured destruction. It's the reason we never went to nuclear war with Russia because they knew if they fired their nukes, we were going to fire our nukes. Gosh, you know how to party. Yeah. You really do. Well, you know how to have a good you, time, Dan. You <laughs> really know how if to have fun. Let's to- all have dirt on each other. If so someone tell- tells me something extremely private about themselves that I think is exploitable, I will tell them something about myself. I actually tend to do that, too. Yeah. I do, too. I actually, yeah. I do. Yeah. Because they were very vulnerable, vulnerable with me, mm-hmm. so I will be the same way with them, full knowing that if they ever say shit about me, I will definitely leak their shit out. Is it bad that I just go, oh, bummer? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Is that no, bad? No, that's a very millennial attitude. Oof. Oh, she still, like, just like, grouped oof. you Both with of that. them are millennials. So. I yeah. have gotten so, that from you. I'm oof, a millennial. Woof. <laughs> yeah, woof. <laughs> woof. I mean, it's like uh, if you... If you're Ukrainian right now, Sure. And you just found out that 178 <laughs> people died because Russia decided not to let their aircraft leave. And someone told me, like, oof. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I don't know yeah. what to say, yes, guys. Yes. Uh, I mean, it's okay. just like. We Is can't. that what it was, by the way? We'll, we'll start off the show now. Subscribe to Drinking Broettes um, <laughs> on iTunes, Spotify, anywhere you can find a podcast. And it'll be available, the video show, on our YouTube page, Drinking Bros Podcast. And we will say, uh, we grow on you. Yes. Yeah. They're very, very funny. Give it's us a, a chance. Fucking awesome <laughs> show. It's a great show. But uh, back to to Russia. That plane crashed last night. I'm going to use heavy air quotes on that in Iran mm-hmm. out of the Tehran airport. Um, what was it? I because you know I saw the footage. They're not releasing the black boxes. By the way, did you read that? Yeah. Yeah. Um, was- can you tell <laughs> us what that actually is? Um, what it actually is. Well, look, you can only apply context and basic human intellect to this situation right planes crash sometimes sure Mm -hmm. Uh, usually a plane that just took off doesn't immediately crash and kill everybody on board because it doesn't have the speed or altitude to do that yet right so that that part's kind of weird um i don't know i here's what we know about this whole situation we know that iran is in a fucking weird situation generally speaking yeah Yeah. like they're they're in a they're in a fucking i don't know i mean we, we we'll get into the attacks against u.s bases soon but um what we do know for sure is that iran is primarily backed by russia and Mm -hmm. russia is not too happy with ukraine at any point we don't know who was on that plane i would be interested to see the manifest me too like who's going back and forth from the ukraine to iran so it was uh, the 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 headline (laughs) of it was 63 canadians that was primarily who was on that flight. I mean, that's oh, I did read that, that today. That, wow. leaves, yeah. that leaves 100 other people on that flight. Right. There was no Americans. I wouldn't expect there to be Americans. They wouldn't go that far. But they might, like, keep, keep an eye out uh, in the intelligence community for someone to leak or to, uh, for us to find out that there was some kind of asset on that flight. Mm-hmm. Somebody that was either going to flip for mm-hmm. us. Look, people pretend to be Canadian to get into Middle Eastern countries it's all true. the time. Per- especially uh, intelligence officers and the United States government. Like, they often pretend to be Canadian to get in over there. So, I don't know. That, well, that whole it, thing is very curious to at me. At that low of an <clears throat> altitude where, where it exploded, does the pilot crash it into the ground, or is it shot down? Because one would think if it was shot down, there would be some evidence, a photograph, a video, Look, something. you don't need to shoot down a plane, though. All, so, I, I'm not a pilot, but I know that, like, in emergency situations, you try to keep the nose from hitting first mm-hmm. you want to hit the rear the, or land the rear of the plane first just to mm-hmm. cushion some of the blow um there's a lot of ways that you can sabotage an aircraft to make it not be able to do that you know what i mean to gotcha. make it look like it was an accident yeah. but it really wasn't. i mean it's look you, you can't tell me that Quds force and the iranian military in general doesn't have complete access to the tehran airport they mm-hmm. can do whatever they want there's no tsa over there being like hey you guys aren't wearing a badge they're like no this is iran bitch yeah yeah We'll do what we want. So, I mean, I to me, it's not. Uh, what was the airline, by the way? I didn't. Ukraine International Airlines. So, <clears throat> big fan of them. Uh, they get some deals going on right now. <laughs> yeah, if you're uh, looking to like get away. Spirit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but way cheaper <laughs> <laughs> now. Discounted tickets. If you're looking uh, to get today. away, yeah. hop on over to their website. So here, orbits. here's the total. Uh, not total, but so there were a bunch of people from Canada, mm-hmm. some Iranians, there were Swedish and Ukrainians on board as well. Mm-hmm. And then there were um, four passengers from Afghanistan, three from Germany and three from Britain. 
It's very, like, who from, it would have to be oil execs, maybe, that are flying back and forth there. Yeah, but look, again, the CIA has been using oil companies for 60 years now to hide assets and stuff like that. So I don't know. I mean, it's, it's bizarre. So uh, the, time, ask, the timing is very strange. I'm going to ask one more <coughs> left field question then. The, the red flag raises and all that shit, obviously. We've blown up Suleimani. Mm-hmm. Why are you still in the country? And why is that your your? Well, maybe they were trying to get out. I mean, it took them a couple of days, I guess. Yeah. But, um, you would think they'd be on the first flight though. I a few would. days ago, correct. I mean, that was the first thing that went out is a warning to, especially America. Yeah, you know, for, you know, U.S. citizens, like, hey, get the hell out of there. They probably would have known something was going on there anyway with some of the, you know. Yeah. With just some of the. Um, oh, I can't think what they might give like warnings, mm-hmm. right? Bulletins and stuff like that, but. Uh, you would think there would be plenty of flights to get out of there. Like for us, living in North Carolina, we get hurricanes Same. from time to time. Correct. It says on the news, hey, man, there might be a hurricane coming there. Within 48 hours, Correct. I am fucking out of there. Mm-hmm. Why weren't they leaving? Um, I tend to lean toward what you're saying now. Because mm. let's face it, if you're staying a little bit longer, you know. There's a reason. There's a sure. reason. For it. Yeah. Because so if the, it's just normal people, you're getting the fuck out of there the yeah. next day. Of like, the pi- All right, we're at World War. Most people, we're unless they think here. that they're, unless they're like hippies and they're like, no, 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 like we're going to spread the love and let's then, just stay here. These, these, these are good people. They won't hurt us. All of the passengers it's, would be from Ojai or Oregon. <laughs> right. I mean, not Calm down. Canada, you know? Well, <laughs> yeah. And so the pilot had uh, the. The head of the airline Dude. said that uh, there's no chance, basically. Well, the vice president of ops said yeah. there's no chance this was pilot error. Yeah. They said given the cruise experiences, the probability was minimal that it yeah. was their error yeah. based upon the hours that they've flown throughout their entire career. Yeah, the captain had flown like, what, 12,000 hours or so? Mm-hmm. And uh, the co-pilot had flown 7,600 on that partic- just on that particular aircraft. Yeah. So no. it's like... So and look, you, you, you can. I always go back to Bebo Russell, R.I.P. Sky King, <laughs> taking that plane out of uh, Seattle and then doing barrel rolls with it, and he had no flight experience, so mm-hmm. he was fine. There's a lot yeah. of there's a lot of fishy <laughs> shit in here. So the the flight stopped transmitting tracker data two minutes in. Really? Yeah. Yeah. These are all the clues and signs to look for. Like, this doesn't make sense. This doesn't make sense. Yeah. Sign up for Drinking Bros Conspiracy on Facebook, by the way. I'm sure that's going <laughs> a, like there? wildfire. Is it really in there a page right of that? Oh, yeah. Oh, Smart. yeah. There's like 10,000 plus in there. We, I mean, we do shows with them all the time. And they're all conspiracy theories? <laughs> yeah, they're great. They're fucking awesome. Uh, the, real, the real answer to all this is that we're never going to know what happened because Iran's never going to let that information go. I was going to say, they no. purposely don't right. want people to know. Not in a million right. years. Um, but you can expect that they had something to do with it for sure. Yeah, uh, we'll move on to the attacks that happened um, on the U.S. spaces uh, in Iraq. <sighs> it's the day after, right? It's it, this is really. F- I, I think it's funny mm-hmm. as, it, as it was unfolding last night. People, it seemed real, people, and then you wake up in the morning and you're like, "All right, well, they didn't hit anything." Well, people were DMing me and saying like, uh, "Hamity was right." They went after bases that house U.S. soldiers, and mm-hmm. like you were right, they did some fucking menial nonsense just to save face. Mm-hmm. That's a, this is exactly what I thought was going to happen. Just like a weird flex. Yeah, yeah. But that's the thing is they did. Okay. They threatened. They were like bloodshed, and you know yeah. we're yeah, going to. They just don't have. We're, the... we're going to come in with the iron fist, and then they do this, right? Right. Which it was. I don't know if they were doing it to save face with their people, saying like, "Hey, we tried to retaliate. Like, oh, oops, we didn't hit anything." I think they purposely did it too, though, because they didn't want to really. Poke the beast. But the U.S. does this hard. all the time, too. I mean, like, uh, a major terror attack will happen, like the USS Cole in 1998, and we'll blow up some fucking bomb facilities in Iraq. Where it's like no casualties. It's yeah. just sort of like, hey. Like, there, there might be a couple, but life is cheap over there. And I don't mean that in a negative way towards their – that's just the culture. Sometimes they expect death, so it's not as – if if somebody – if if eight U.S. soldiers would have been killed yesterday, we would be at war right now, probably. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah. There right. wasn't but any. But right? if we dropped a bomb on Iraq or Iran somewhere and eight Iranians got killed, I mean, Meh. we just killed their top guy I and know. his and his buddy, fucking buddy, and then like, six more of them. Nothing happened. Yeah. <laughs> so it was like well, death is just you know what not. I mean? It's just as, it's different there. Yeah. I, and I don't mean that to be degrading towards their culture. I think it's just different. Yeah. So, and when we, we talked to uh, Hamadi Jassim on uh, Monday, and we did that episode about uh, the death of Soleimani, which. 
Everybody's been sending us messages. Thank you um, about how great that was. He's great. Yeah. Um, but after the show was over, he was even joking about what the price of life is over there. Where he, he said, uh, "Why well, why is your relative dead?" And he's like, "Well, he turned 40. I'm like, what? And he goes, "Yeah, 40s the life expectancy over there." Wow. And I was like, "Why?" And he goes, "Food, all kinds of fucked up shit. Yeah. Like, just your heart will explode, and that's it. You're 40 in Iraq, and you know, well, time to move on." I was like, holy shit. If that's the way you grew up your entire life, then that's a very normal way of thinking. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So for them, they're just kind of like, healthy, it's their culture. But, yeah. By the way, these missiles they fired were the same ones that they were firing at us during Gulf War One, mm-hmm. <laughs> Like, <laughs> that were sailing over people's heads and landing in, in the Gulf. Yeah, because I'm yeah. no rocket scientist, but one would imagine if you have a rocket, it would have precision, and yeah. you would know exactly <laughs> where you're, you're going to strike. Not... Hey, we missed it by no, 500, 600 yards. They have precision. Yeah. You know, where they can target and yeah. So th- everything. they so. knew exactly where these were going to land and wasn't going to hurt anything. I don't know if those were the exact ones. They might have like the cheap knockoff well, we Walmart annihilated versions a or person something. But that was getting off of Yeah, we picked <laughs> off one guy just getting out of a car. But that's what I'm saying. Well, that was also with the, you know, uh, UAV on man. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying, but that's a, right. that's precision, Holmes. That is precision, but that's what we do. <laughs> if we're going to do something, we're going to do it right. Maybe they were just doing it just to be like, hey, we're going to. Well, that's the theory, right? Show face to the people yeah. and say that we did something, but we don't want to make sure we really, really? hit anything important yeah. <laughs> to start something that we're not ready for yet. So. Yeah, and that's what it seemed like to me. And, and then Trump this morning in his speech, if you got a chance to watch it, said... Yeah, we watched it before. I ran his back down. Yeah. And it, that's what I, that was my first thought when I woke up this morning. I saw yeah. that no one was killed. Uh, that, that's exactly what I thought. And you and Hamidi called this on mm-hmm. that episode on Monday... And it all came to fruition. So what happens now is my... Well, I've got an unpopular opinion. What's going to happen is we'll just keep parrying attacks back and forth. In the same Smaller way? Smaller stuff. The same stuff will be happening. Mm. Uh, like not huge attacks, yeah, it'll, but it'll just, just be enough. like s- small scale proxy bullshit. What I think honestly should happen is that we should send people to Iraq and secure that country. Like what, what Hamity and I were talking about the other day is <clears throat> he, he's... I don't know about the numbers he's saying, 24 million people. But I know that Shia-dominated areas are protesting Iranian involvement in their government. They're burning down the houses of Iraqi politicians that are kowtowing to the Iranian government. They want them out, right? And uh, honestly, the Iranian youth, I guess for lack of a better phrase, wants the same thing. They want this old-school, autocratic, theocratic leadership gone. They don't like it. They hate it. Like, Soleimani was not a popular guy among non-radicals in Iran. Um, <clears throat> I think we should press the issue a little more, to be honest. Um, and mo- mostly just to keep, like, th- there's, people will say, like, I'm not, I'm not a fucking warmonger or anything like that, but this is the same ideology we use, the same strategy we use during the Cold War at the end to win against Russia. Russia is a constant thorn in our side. Mm. And the more we make them spend time and money and effort in Iran, the less they can spend in their own country. Mm-hmm. Their economy collapses. It's the same thing that happened in the late 80s, right? Mm. I think we should keep pressing the issue. What if we took out Ayatollah Khomeini? What would happen then? <sighs> That's a good question. I don't know. Because that, that, was, my, that, was, my, that was my next thought of like, all right, great. <laughs> so this, you had this bullshit re- retaliation that was nothing, yeah. right? You're, that's clearly a sign of weakness. Why not just take out the last guy and call it a day? Yeah, I mean, if we were going to do something like that, we would use a proxy. We wouldn't use. We wouldn't send some white face over there with a or UAV. We would send one of his own people that hated him into the room and let him blow his brains out. The problem is, so those, you're saying so it didn't look like it was on us. Yeah, it looked yeah. like it was on mm-hmm. them. That they know, but they don't know. Yeah, you know what I mean. Uh, so like, it, it's what was interesting to me is right after the rocket attack. Uh, Iranian official tweeted out that like, hey, we defended ourselves based on this part of the UN code. Like they were very specific. We did Mm. this in retaliation for this. And here's the law that justifies it, right? Um, They're thinking about stuff over there right now. And moderates have more control of government than the radicals do for once. So I think now would be a good time to like empower those moderate people and fuck somebody up. Like if, if there's anybody out there that has an asset in place, I would fucking murk Khomeini right now, to be honest. It would it would stir things up a little bit, but look, and don't feel bad for soldiers. We fight. That's what we're supposed to do. Mm-hmm. Like, there's nobody, well, I mean, there there could be some, but none of the dudes in 1st 504 or the 82nd in general are upset about getting deployed. That's what we joined for. 
Like they're you, excited. Yeah. Like if you in went to honesty, the if you went to like, the reserve, this is what, I'm about, this is what yeah. I'm joined to do. If you went to the reserve or National Guard or something like that, it's one thing. But uh, an airborne unit is a, is a it's a double volunteer. Like you had to volunteer for the military and you had to volunteer for airborne school. You volunteered to be in the infantry. So I mean, it is what it is. Those guys want to fight. So don't feel bad for us. What do you guys think of the pictures that are going around of? These, because they're pinning it both ways, right? Oh yeah. There, there's <coughs> parents that are hugging soldiers, crying and saying, "Oh my gosh, they're crying because they're leaving and going away." And clearly, that some of those pictures of, are just them coming home. Oh, I haven't seen. Yeah, that. most of the well, I've all the ones that I've seen so far are actually homecomings and not people leaving. Yes, and that's I keep not seeing how those works. pop up over the last forty eight hours. Have you? I've been yes. seeing more so people leaving. I've been seeing footage from Fort Bragg where we're at mm. and um, showing. Correct. So people going to the Iraq. one footage wise on the news. That's what, you, what you've been seeing on Facebook. That's the only thing that's real. Oh, I've not been seeing it on Facebook. The stuff on Facebook, Facebook is not and real. Twitter. Mm-hmm. I just keep seeing pictures, no. and then everybody's using that as their own narrative, saying, "This is what we've done. We're sending our well, kids away, and like, parents are crying." Buttholes puckering because they're like, "We're going to World War Three. We're getting drafted," and they, maybe people like that particularly mm-hmm. are making a big deal about it and trying to convert other people to their opinion on their side and saying, hey, these guys don't want to go over there. They're crying. Like, I don't know. I don't know what type of narrative they're trying Look, to If you're getting your news from Facebook, you may as well just read the yeah, National Enquirer. Like, that's, that's what I say. I mean, you're an idiot. If you're, if you're reading, if you're looking at memes, mm-hmm. like if a meme pops up on your page and you agree with it, and that's the end of your fucking thought process, you're a fucking you idiot. you don't look up period. anything else Unless it's that? Epstein related. <laughs> <laughs> Epstein did kill him. Well, there's so. a lot of us that don't care about the truth. Yeah, right. I just like the the funny stuff. Yeah, yeah, me That's too. Tr- yeah, yeah. Like I would love. I mean, World War. They, they, look, first of all, there wouldn't be a World War Three just because we went to war with Iran. Like Russia or China are not going to directly engage us. There's no chance. A world war involves major ally and Axis powers. It doesn't involve two countries. That's not. You guys a world remember war. World War One? Nobody talks about it. Well, a long time ago, you know, I don't. Do you want to feel old? <laughs> what? World War One. <laughs> <That's old news. laughs> Sorry. Old. You know what it talks about the Civil War anymore. I kind of feel God like World War One over what here. What about the Revolutionary War? Nobody's yeah. paying attention like, to what? me. What? What? Nobody says anything about Something that. Something interesting I did see, though, was uh, there was an Iranian journalist supposedly being quoted uh, that this was a deal set up between Iran and the United States that they would evacuate and keep their people inside, evacuate some of the bases and abandon some of the patrols for a couple of hours while they launch rockets. And then that would be the end of it. No shit. Yeah. I wouldn't be huh. surprised to hear something like that. That would be but, unbelievably I mean, fascinating. Could, those sure. kind of conversations happen between secretaries of state. Like, hey, we got to do something, dude. You fucking killed our guy. Yeah. Like, I know that he's a dick and shit, but you, you, he's still our guy and you killed him. We have to do so something. we got to show this for our people. Yeah. So Those kind of conversations of well, happen between diplomats all the time. But we won't hear about it. No. No, you don't want, I don't want to hear about that. Yeah. I no, just, me neither. Like, as long as it continues to exist, everybody forgets that, that there was a direct line between the Kremlin and the White House throughout the entire 80s. Like, a, they, they created a, a direct phone line where the president could pick it up and the fucking, uh, and whomever was over there at the time, Gorbachev or whomever could just, they, they would be directly on the phone like, hey, we're not. Because there's so much information bouncing mm-hmm. back and forth. The Cuban Missile Crisis thing, if we had had that line of communication, it probably would never have gone that far. You know what I mean? Because it was this one captain out of the three that stopped nuclear war from happening right. down in Cuba, basically. And uh, those kind of conversations happen a lot. You don't need to know. Well, tell me 15 years later after it gets declassified. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. need to know now. In there's, a book. Everybody a wants to know, well, what happened? Why did Trump do this? Because he saw intelligence. And his team said that they should do it. Have faith. The That's end. what I always say. Is like, the what end. am I? What is me knowing yeah. going to do <clears throat> about any of it? And if you don't like it, <laughs> there's an election in fucking eleven months, and you can fucking vote him out. Yeah, it's that. It's really that simple. It is. It that's is. how it's always been, though, with all the precedents. Like, why is it different now? They've always gotten this intel, and they made, they think, the most appropriate, educated decision on well, it. Well, look, it's been going on for 100 years. I mean, you look at the, the JFK files. Mm-hmm. They just got released. What, Trump just released those? Yeah. Um, his first year in, yeah. and that was, what, 50 years, I think? And that was the 50-year mark. And even then, some of them were had redactions in them. Yeah. Oh, it's really? A, uh, yeah, yeah. St- still to this day. So, as in there was a lot of shit that I learned when I read them, mm-hmm. and I was like, "Oh my god, I didn't know our country was doing shit like this, planting bombs and 
Florida to make it look like it was Cuba. Uh, oh, yeah. I was genuinely surprised because <laughs> yeah. I was like, the Kennedy administration pretty much created American black flag operations. Interestingly enough, I'm surprised there haven't been any movies made about that yet. I I'm guess surprised there hasn't been either. It hasn't been that long. Kevin Costner is busy doing Yellowstone, brother. Yeah, he cannot do it again. I don't. <laughs> he I don't can't know do what, another JFK <laughs> movie. I don't know if he would. This one wouldn't be a JFK movie. It would more be about the CIA running amok in the 1960s. And who's going to solve that? There's no solution. Kevin Costner. Nope. Kekos could solve that mm. shit. Um, lastly, on Iraq, I always think about how much money Outcast makes from bombs over Baghdad. Mm. Oh my like god! <laughs> All of those fucking memes, dude. That song comes back again, and you're just like, "Holy shit!" Outcast is still getting paid. Do you think from they that ever song. just like hit each other up and like, "Dude, that was the best one line in that <laughs> song ever." It's making us millions to this day, forever. Right? Yeah, it, might, it might make us million, make make them millions for fucking twenty, thirty years. One, oh one last gosh. thing on this whole situation: all these people equivocating about who Suleimani is and whether or not he deserved to die, get fucked. You stupid bitch. Like, read any history. Any, any of it. And the guy that got killed with him, the uh, Iraqi-Iranian guy that got killed with him, mm-hmm. is, uh, was, was part of the Kuwait bombings in 1983 after the Beirut bombings. Like, he is a terrorist. Yeah. He's, it's, it's not like... Just because there's people that like him doesn't mean... Do you know what I mean? Doesn't like, mean well, he was a great it doesn't, guy. it doesn't yeah. matter that he's in that position. Like, if we... Let, let's say we elected a president. This is crazy, hypothetical nonsense. But let's say we elected a president and then we found out after the fact that... Because information doesn't travel over there the same way it does here. But let's just say the internet didn't exist and blah, blah, blah. We all of a sudden find out that Donald Trump back in the day used to be part of Weather Underground. And he was putting bombs and fucking uh, in ele- uh, electrical facilities and shit like that and blowing shit up. Like, oh, fuck. You got to go, dude. Yeah. And if... But he wouldn't go. If the FBI showed up and fucking, like, hunted him down and shot him in the face or whatever, trying to take him in, like, all right, you're okay. a terrorist. Sorry. Bro. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's what it, it is. Yeah. And <clears throat> that's why you don't hear anybody from Iraq defending either one of these two assholes. Because they're like, oh, yeah, I mean, if you live by the sword, you're going to die by the sword. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And by the sword, I mean killing civilians. Yeah. Well. Just get fucked. He's gone. Rose oh. McGowan and uh, All CNN. Of them. All See, of them. <laughs> I, somebody posted they something. Can go, like, yeah, they can go with them, too. I think it was the Daily Wire posted something super funny, like the way, um, God, who was it? Some dude died, and they were, they were like, uh his career was blah, blah, blah until he fucking made some comment that was negative about women. And then it's like Suleimani, Iranian general dead or yeah. something like that. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. There was, yeah. A, there was a woman in the New Yorker, too, who wrote an article <laughs> uh, named Robin Wright. And, uh, Is it I, Robin Wright y- y- pen? Yeah. pen? No, it's not. Um, she, I, cool. she should have had a different pen name. Nailed it. Boom. Blammo. Nope. Um, she wrote an article for the New Yorker. And this is, this is what it read. And I, I tweeted her back. Soleimani, a flamboyant former construction worker oh my God. and bodybuilder oh, with snowy white mm. hair, a dapper beard, and arching salt and pepper eyebrows. That, that was the, the lead <laughs> of the New Yorker yeah. article about the death of Soleimani. I, I wrote back, I was like, was, it, was that really your opener? Because I can't wait to hear you describe the death of O.J. Simpson about how strong his hands were. Yeah, yeah you right. You fucking and bitch. his knife collection. It's crazy, man. Um, this is, this uh, thing that I was talking about is from the New York Times obituary section. And here's what they said about Sam White, who was the coach of the Bengals back in the day. You remember him? Yeah, yeah, he just Wasn't died he, last week. He was the coach of the of Clemson for a while too, right? Yeah, like yes. Back in the 80s when they won. He was a icky shuffle days yeah. back with the Bengals. So this is Sam White's uh, obituary, at least the headline for it. Sam White, who was the last coach to lead the Cincinnati Bengals to the Super Bowl, but who was later fined by the NFL for barring a female reporter from the team's locker room, has died. <laughs> No, read this first. It says, say what you will about Soleimani, but at least he never kept a female reporter out of the locker room. Yeah, that's Are you <laughs> serious? fucking kidding no, 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 no. me? That's no, the no. Daily Wire making that's, fun of yeah, you. Oh, oh yeah, but like, Jesus Christ. I was like, what that's the, the fuck? joke? Here, yeah. Here's their headline for Soleimani. Kasim Soleimani, master of Iran's intrigue and force, dies at 62. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> like, are we editorializing obituaries now? Yes. That's where it is. Right? Yes. Uh, that, that's where it is. And, like, a homegirl never responded to me. Everybody else did. Um, but uh, fuck them, dude. dude. People it, are just, they're very confused. I don't, are they? Very confused. Clearly. They? If no, you're going to defend make him, him they they're make, confused. 
Anyone that will Sorry. do anything to make Trump look bad. Oh, my God, you killed this amazing leader. Well, I can't conf- believe you did that. No, conf- he was a far- <laughs> horrific person who definitely should have died the worst horrific death. And, and I'm glad he's gone. And speaking of CNN, uh, today they flipped immediately. Once this bombing didn't kill any Americans and it's just kind of over yeah. and went right back to impeachment. And that was didn't. on for two hours about mm-hmm. impeachment. Um, luckily, we don't have to talk about them. We can talk about ghostbed.com. <laughs> Forward slash drinking bros. I got some breaking news for you, Dan, right now. Uh, Rich just hit me up and he said, hey, man, there was a couple people, drinking bros, who had just missed the sale on the 6th that was ending the night of the 6th. And he goes, look, I don't know who they were. Um, We just get the hits on the thing and we got a couple emails about it. They've extended the sale 25% off until January 14th. I saw that when I was oh my on gosh, there today. So then we were right. Yeah, yes. I saw that yeah. I was on there today because I was like, because they had they had one day left. I think they extended again, and then all of a sudden when I looked at it again, they said fourteen, the and I was like, yeah. what? This is awesome. So here's here's what happened. They they make us uh, all of these ads we read. They typically make us a URL that is, that is custom for us, mm-hmm. right? So ours is ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. So that way, all of our listeners have a separate deal than regular humans mm-hmm. walking around this earth. Um, and that's that's what makes our show special. That's what makes these ad reads special and shit like this. So if you go on there, all of the reviews under our URL are from actual drinking bros and listeners. So that way they're not skewed. If you wanted to say it fucking sucked or whatever, it would be on there. They're not. Everybody loves the goddamn thing. And so for that, um, when people buy the mattresses and everything else, they do read the emails and they were like, hey, a couple of people missed out on this sale, so let's extend it till the 14th. Um, today is the 9th. Uh, go right now to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. Today you have until January 14th to take 25% off everything in the store mattresses, adjustable bases, pillows, sheets, everything. And as always, the, the 36 month pay as you go, no interest program lasts for all of it. So every single thing in the store, including the 25% off, will be taken off your no interest for 36-month payment thing. It, it's crazy that they're still doing this. Um, but uh, whoever those two people were, were the ones that caused it. I wish we knew their name. That's awesome. I just shout yeah. them out on, this, on the show today. That's cool that Ghostbed did that. So super stoked about that. Go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros today. Next up, um, keeping the tone still serious, a grinder date <laughs> eats a man's testicles. Allegedly. Allegedly. Why allegedly? Because this is a country of laws, you bitch. <laughs> what, is, what does that mean? <laughs> you have the right to due process and the presumption of innocence. Oh. Oh, Just because God. you walk into a room and there's a guy hanging from the ceiling and his testicles are gone and there's testicle meat in my mouth, that doesn't mean it's I did that. Allegedly, yeah. until it, you can. Did he proven. admit to it? Well, maybe he did. Maybe he didn't. Here's the here's you the bit. Has anyone ha- eaten ever eaten balls before? Though? Well, there was I a mean, woman who who bit wait, a camel. There was a woman who bit. Uh, oh, bit the camel's testicles, but she was. It was in self I'm defense. Saying goat balls. Like what? if you eat pe- like goat balls, that? that's a thing. Mm. You've eaten goat balls. The camel sat yeah. on the lady, and she bit his balls to get. She bit his balls. Bit yeah, the she camels. bit the camel's balls. Why it was her only? Line of squeeze them or they sat on her it face. It was just on the face. So he, she, she got couldn't tea do bags any, by yes. <laughs> You didn't hear about that? It's no. a good one. I want to go back to Tiffany eating goat oh, balls. Oh, sorry, sorry. Goat sorry. balls. Have yeah. you real? Oh, have you never right. eaten testicles? Yeah. No. I have. Yeah, that's why I just asked them. What is goat's balls called? What's, I don't like what's sushi. The name uh, Rocky Mountain oysters. <laughs> Rocky Mountain oysters. That's oh, yeah. Oh, I know that. Yeah. Yeah. They had us cut off. So we had a goat that we were um, killing. For, Overseas um, or by here? the way, calling no, no, it here, that like for survival training, makes it so much worse. And they had asked like if anyone wanted to chop off the balls of the goat, and I like of course immediately raised my hand, and they were sure. like, "Tiffany, why in hell would you want to do that?" And I was like, "Well, first of all, it's a cool story because if any guy fucks with me and like breaks my heart, I'm gonna be like, listen, I cut off a dude's balls before, I'll do it again." Yeah. Right. But then we had to eat them. You know what I mean? Because like we cooked up the goat. Oh, uh, so but you, uh, do you raw? cook the balls? Yeah, they cooked. Ah, uh, we cooked them. Because the oyster. Because they couldn't make us eat anything technically really raw. You know what I mean? Except for Got the it. eyeballs. So they wanted to make sure. But I, I don't know how people normally eat them. But that's why I was curious. If anyone ever ate balls, I'm like, don't knock it till you try it. You know? Yeah. How long do you cook a set of nuts? I don't know. They seen was it like, on top it was on the instructors. Before. Really? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, the only way I've <laughs> seen them prepared oysters. are deep fried. So I don't know. Yeah. I was going to say, we, had, we used yeah. the fat uh, from the goat. In a, like a little pan, mm. and that's about it. I, I, it's man, a delicacy in uh, I'd love to. Arizona. Or you can boil exactly, them, I'm sure, yeah. and get the nutrients out of the ball sack. 
I, the I, nutrients. You mean the cum? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oof. Yeah, oof. They're still there. Get them, get them carbs in your belly, folks. Still jangling <laughs> around. There's like, you can. It's eat, more carbs than protein. You can yeah. eat like oh. fried animal cum. I've seen like whale cum and shit like that. I think I've seen. It's a, deli- it's a delicacy. Yeah. Right? yeah. Somebody, some, somebody somewhere eats that shit. Of course, it's a de- anything is a delicacy. It's in Japan. By the way, Country. somebody somewhere eats everything, right? Yeah. 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 Guaranteed. Pan fried semen. It's sort of like porn. Well, I have a feeling that this guy's testicles did not get eaten because <coughs> he was hungry. I think it was for some other demented reason. Here's oh, the yes. other. Th- the, well, his, uh, the guy's name, the young man that's dead, RIP. Is the most important. Oh, he died from this? Yeah. He, shit. he was found. He's murdered. Hanging. Yes. Well. It was a murder. Look, Allegedly. Was upside Hanging down. from the rap- Allegedly. <laughs> um, Allegedly. Can I see him? A wee uh, A wee Don't have yeah, one. What was his name? Is yours long? Tell everyone <laughs> yes. his name. His name is Kevin Bacon. <laughs> Kevin Bacon is his name? Which is kind of fucked up because the Kevin Bacon took to Twitter and be like. This is oh, not Oh, did me. he? Yeah, he was like, uh, I mean. This isn't me? Really? <laughs> Let me see exactly. Oh, my gosh. That's that. awesome. <laughs> I can only imagine because when I first read this, I was like, wait, Kevin Bacon. Obviously, the right, actor obviously. Kevin Bacon's not 25 years old. Yeah. No, he still, he still looks great, but not 25. No, no, um, no, no, no. Man. But yeah, he was reported missing by his family when he didn't show up for um, breakfast. Christmas. Christ- with his family oh, on Christmas, Christmas Day. Day. Breakfast, yeah. Imagine that story. He of- just wanted to get a little fucking ding dong well, right this before right now, I'm Christmas. He was in town. Glad that it, he didn't I know mean, anybody. It's true. You got to go to It's sad that it happened around Christmas, but think about it. If it didn't happen around the holidays, how, I don't know how often he probably goes home, but his family might not have noticed for a while. So thank God it was, you know, Christmas was the next day type of thing so they can report him and be like, this was very unnatural because... He always shows up for Christmas. Right. Yeah. right. Or he was here. He was staying here. Because I'll tell you right now that if he I was supposed to be going for... home for the holidays with my parents, they expect me. But if I was missing, they wouldn't know because they, we don't talk to each other all the time. So true. So they wouldn't know for like months later. And then to find out that I was hanging from the, ra- you know, yeah, <laughs> rafter I just, somewhere with my tits eaten off. I think about this. I think about it from the family perspective of, hey, where's Kevin? I don't know. He's missing. All right. We'll wait. We'll wait. Well, wait, you know, Christmas, he did go out. He did go out for a grinder date yeah. last night. You know, maybe he I stayed over. He did not tell his parents that. Oh, who knows? No, but he did pop out the he, night before. He didn't pop out. But imagine when they do find him and it's like, yeah. hey, what happened to my son? He's dead. Well, his testicles were eaten off. By <laughs> who? A grinder date. And then why was he hanging upside down? Not even as that. Yeah, he was hanging naked from the rafters by his ankles. And then he was apparently... Oh, it did say that the guy confessed to killing Bacon by stabbing him in the back and then Dan, slicing his that? throat. So that's, is it? So he, Dan's going to say it's still alleged because he's not. Oh, no, because I he don't could be it. what lying. No, I, I, I'm sure the guy killed him. Yeah, <laughs> he was just being a dick. Like yeah. always. Yeah, you can't really hang yourself and stab yourself in the back at the same time. <laughs> well, yeah, I don't know. Hard. And then he told the police that he cut off Jeffrey his Jeffrey Epstein did it. So I mean, blammo, yeah. oh blammo, blammo. Uh, blam-o. Cut off his testicles. Yeesh. Before eating them, I, eating them up. I think you could live um, if if your testicles were bitten off, as long as you had you know something to take the pain away. Like KillCliffCBD.com, <laughs> twenty five milligrams. You're in a welcome. Can. You're welcome, KillCliff. Mm. If you or a loved one has had their testicles bitten clean off their body, uh, instead of of taking Vicodin, which you could get hooked to. Take some CBD. Go to KillCliffCBD.com. 25 milligrams in every single can. With the promo code Drinking Bros, you get 20% off a case. Knocks it down to about $3.99 a can and free shipping. Dan, you and I drink one of these every single every night. Every single night. I had one last night along with some extra stuff. <laughs> yeah. Well, what else was that? Whoa, Dan? whoa. Testicles? Vodka? Yeah. No, it was liquor. Uh, uh, edibles. Oh, oh okay. okay, great. Okay. There it is. And testicles. Weed. Yeah. <laughs> and I smoke weed. And, and, and you smoked weed oh, on and, top of then that. I and some, some pills, probably. Xanax. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And, uh, but other than that, it worked great. <laughs> Works like it's charm. Yep. I didn't do any of that. I only drank the uh, Kill Club, actually. <laughs> I didn't yeah. do any of that. Yeah. <laughs> <I didn't. laughs> Allegedly. 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 Yeah. Allegedly. <laughs> uh, go to KillCliffCBD.com today. This is the best in the biz. The grape. The grape is my favorite. The grapest of all time. Uh, they got mango and orange kush. Is available uh, free shipping, free shipping, which is you're like, hey, what the fuck is that, bro? Um, try to ship heavy cans to your house. They'll tax the shit it, out of you. Yeah. Yeah, you stupid fucks. Harder than Britain in 1776, motherfucker. 1773. Whatever, dude. I don't happened. fucking do dates, dude. <laughs> I do promo codes. Drinking bros, 20% off. Do date. Killcliffcbd.com. I don't do facts, bro. 
Jesse's do. like, I know you don't do I dates. Do you feel anniversary yeah. all the time. Yeah. No, you don't do dates. <laughs> he You're always with your other girlfriend, Dan. <laughs> he, he doesn't forget her anniversary or their anniversary. He's he just, just not spends there. it with me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he just gives my present to Dan. That's yeah. all. Uh, he knows. He I'll has put, the nice dinner with Dan. I'll put at half Joe. Of your I was like, what do you mean Instagram? gives it to Dan? Like, what is that supposed to mean? Yeah. Oh, but, that what? Uh, you said he gives his present. Oh, yeah, because they're together. Dan, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. But yeah. I don't know. Sometimes it's sexual, so I'm like, what is he giving to Dan? <laughs> I only fuck dick holes, so. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I only duck. Wow. That, that's a yeah. small He hole. only ducks. Mm. He, he only, only ducks. ducks. Good for you. It and gets, with It gets bigger. <laughs> well, it gets, it gets bigger, and then plus with an uh, uncirked guy, you can roll that skin over, oh, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah I put yeah, Velcro yeah. on the inside of Sleeve. his wiener and on the outside of mine. Yeah. So it binds it together. And it's a nice fit. <laughs> Isn't that called ducking? Yeah, yeah, it is. It's called ducking. Uh, next up, a Colombian drug lord named El Tio. Mm. Uh, I believe that means uncle. The in uncle. Spanish? The yeah. uncle, yeah. Thank you. Well, and you would know because you were raised half Mexican. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> because I was lied to my whole life. Yeah. <laughs> Come to find out I'm fucking Greek. Now I have to learn a whole nother fucking thing. Language, yeah. Anyways, yeah, but I... yeah, so I do know that, El Tio. <laughs> and I get had her, one. Get her some Oikos. <laughs> Yeah. With the yogurt? Uh, <laughs> yes, Oikos. <laughs> Nailed it. Stamos. Um, <laughs> oh, get me Stamos while you're at it. Oh, yeah, Let's, I'll take a little I'll piece ta- of that, I'll, too. Same here. I'll take I'll a little like, fucking Stamos. Stamos. <laughs> Just found out I was Greek. Yeah. What? Hey. <laughs> Want to gangbang out? Do you get uh, a visit from John Stamos whenever you declare as Greek? Yes, uh, you I've do. I've been trying to, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, That's not happening, but... Which John Stamos shows up? Is it like that shitty World War II movie where they had motorcycles, or is it like Uncle Jesse? It's Uncle Jesse. I hope it's Uncle Jesse. Yeah. Um, sure. Um, he was hot in both. I'm just what curious. about or ER? ER Stamos. Ooh, ER uh, Stamos. No? I, I didn't like him in the ER. Oof. Like, why like a daddy white Stamos? White coat only, I want a beard. Yeah. it. Yeah. Too many. So in that show, You, he has yeah, a, he's in you. Beard. He's got a beard. Oh, I not It looks weird. It's gray. Mm. Yeah. Bring me daddy Stamos. Ooh, okay. Yes. Yeah. Gain a little weight. Like that Ken Gain Barbie a little doll weight, too. That, that you see that came out with like the beard and the long yes. hair? That's a <laughs> Who sent that to me? Gat, daddy. I think. Yeah. I'll take that one. Did they ever us. make an action figure out of Thor from the last Marvel movie? Yeah, yes, they did. Like the big fat... Did uh, they? Oh. Yeah, but it was oh, only like l- limited ones, yeah. and they were going for like a crazy amount of. I'm sure there's one on eBay for a ridiculous amount of money. Right? Well, I'll here's the thing: it. like, there's a there's a, a group of like fucked up people who make these. T- like, uh, eBay will try to stop it. These people will make these fucked up dolls. So at one point, you could buy an Epstein. Uh, yeah, mm. you could buy an OJ at wow. one point. That was and a then, missed opportunity. Yes, um, and then the Yodel Boy was the one that went for the. That was the highest one I can remember. We did it on the Drinking Walmart Bros. Yodel, Yodel Boy? Yes. We, oh we got gosh. in on the bidding on it, and we stopped it, I think, three grand. And Holy shit. I think it sold for five. I can, like, Does hear Yodel the Boy song make any money off of that? Or no? Right no. Oh, oh yeah. No. Okay. And I say hi. hi, hi. Yeah. Uh, El Tio was arrested after a mm-hmm. uh, son tips him off to police. Um, I'm assuming Father's Day was never their favorite holiday. Uh, well, it's complicated. Yeah. The, I mean, uh, I don't blame the El Tio's real name, the uncle, was uh, Luis Del Rio. I don't know why I didn't go with uh, Rio El Tio. That would have been a nice little thing. <laughs> oh, El Tio Rio. Rhyme time. Uh, was trafficking something like tens of tons of cocaine a month to Europe and the U.S., which is there really a crime there? Uh, he was Pablo Escobar's right hand man before. They had a falling out back in the day. They had a falling out because Pablo had one of his nieces kidnapped. So, I mean, fall, uh, seeing a falling out is that's a good. Wasn't like, happens, that's a good though. reason to fall yeah. out. I brought yeah. the same sweet potato casserole as you. Yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> the sprinkle Eesh, cookies. Yeah. Like, no, like you yeah. just kidnapped my niece. So. You re-gifted the fruitcake yeah. that I gave <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> whenever It wasn't I, like that. Whenever I see stories like this, isn't mm. there enough cocaine to go around in Colombia? Like, why do you, why do you need to steal? Well, it wasn't that. The no, they no. were having, there was some kind of political shit and he kidnapped homeboy's niece. It's always political. Okay. But it there. seems like they don't really. It's a flex. It's, there's something I, I, else involved. I guess my question is this. Then why bring up the cocaine altogether? Again, harmless crime. It's currency over there. <laughs> you got a soft spot for cocaine. <laughs> no, I just. <laughs> look. Can you imagine if he did it? Oh, you got, oh my gosh, you're already wired enough as it is. Ooh, Are you kidding? Good luck. Well, this is an interesting enough story on its own because he was hooked up with Pablo. He's a fucking billionaire, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. The reason that his son turned him in is the funniest part. I don't me. blame the son. What? He f- well, dude. so in these cartels, you're lucky to find anybody to rat on anybody. 
like the whole time with El Chapo. They didn't, oh, for sure. Like it, it finally happened with uh, like even his wife, his kids. Nobody would fucking say shit, right? Well, it turns out that uh, El Tio was banging his son's wife. Wife. Ah. Uh, well, that'll do it. That'll do it. You know, like do they it. really, they that, like I would get back to my dad that way too. There. I would, I would <laughs> act like I was fine with it. Like, oh yeah, fuck my wife all you want. And then in my head, I'd be like, I'm getting you back. I think the and only this, way and this is guaranteed way to jail. Yeah, the, this is this is a mistake on the son's part. I was going to say his son's going to get dead. Soon. Yeah, the son's going to his wife get, will then be a the widow. The son's going to get clipped. He's not going to get any of that money, and I'm sure there's plenty of it. Uh, also, what he should have done, yeah, is killed his wife. Fucked his mom. He should have fucked his mom. <laughs> Calm That's down, it. Tiffany. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm just saying, oh, she's nice. fucking him. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. He should have fucked his mom and put it on Pornhub. Oh, my God. Yep. He should have fucked his grandfather because if anybody messes with me in a way like that, I usually go after the dad first. Because you can, like, if I banged your mom, you would get over that. If I fucked your dad, that's it for you. You're oh. done. Yeah. Like, you can never say shit to me again. Like, abducted in plain that's sight. That's true. Like, if, that, you're, if your dad was gay, it would be one thing. But, but if that's I fucked your straight dad. With your dad, though. I like, I feel like in a typical, like, Mexican cartel movie, he would just kill his wife, right? And then be like, what? I didn't care about her anyway. Fuck you. And now his dad can't fuck her. And now he doesn't have to live with that. And then it's over. Yeah, yeah. but he did, in, that, in your scenario, he doesn't get to fuck his mom. So I'm not really into that. Yeah. I, <laughs> Come on, I, Tiff. You got to oh, the, the do a little though, straight before you do gay. Colombians, you know? they, uh, they keep. Do you know what I mean? Like the older ladies are still... Hot. Yeah, and you've known her your whole life, so you guys have a good chemistry. Oh my god! Yeah, <laughs> That's yeah. So yeah. yeah. Just think about it. It's uh, not like an older. <laughs> it's not like a white mom. Now that is ish, Yeesh. right? Yeah. But if you're like a Colombian mom. Mexican oh, a Colombian mom, Colombian mom's totally oh. different. Have you oh, seen Selma Hayek? Have you seen Selma? Fifty three. So if you ever, you is see Sophie those Ricardo jokes, Colombian. Too? Whatever, yes. man. Yeah. Yes. Okay. All. Well, She's I guess forty can't something. Blame them. She's a mom. Crushing it. The two of them. Uh, by and the way, Dan, just get I'm looking for pictures of the the guy's wife. Real, qu uh, real quick, Dan. <laughs> just this is, if it was hot. warranted or not. This okay. is an update for you, Dan. Uh, somebody did take your idea about marrying someone's mom so that they we, they could be the father to their best friend's son. Okay. He was on Ellen. Uh, David, yeah, it was a YouTuber, and I'm convinced that he has listened heard to the you show or it. talked to. I, I don't, I, I don't know when this happened, but it was really funny, and he was really funny. David Dobrik, you That's know, it. David yes. Dobrik. Yes. He, so he's doing what? He, he stole married Dan's his bit. best friend's mom and then flew her to Hawaii. Had for a whole honeymoon with a, a her. A whole and everything. honeymoon. Like recently? Did everything. Yeah. And was yeah, his was dad for a second. And it was, his, it was legally his dad for like they got, two months. It's a kid that was born in Eastern uh, Europe and he moved here? Yeah. That's who you're talking about? This guy? This guy, yeah. David Dobrik? A very yeah, 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 popular, yeah. like one of the most popular mm -hmm. YouTubers out there. Everyone and loves so him. And so he does a podcast with this guy who's like 40. And he married Lorraine Nash. She is 75 years old. <laughs> oh my God. That is so funny. Obviously, he's that's a major 20, joke. He's 23. And it's the, it's the mother and his children of his co-host. His child is now listed as his co-host, Jason Nash. <laughs> That is, that is fucking great? fucking hilarious. <laughs> the things that people do, though, I swear, for like the clout and clickbaits and just for fun, right? Well, like, he's uh, a comedian. This so he's a comedian. Really it's, it's part it of the really job, good. though. Yeah. It is. Like you know, he didn't do it because he loved her. He did it because it's funny and they could use it, and it's gonna be on the internet. No, for he all did it. Times. To, he it's did great. it to be his co-host dad. That's what yeah. I'm saying. Though. <laughs> it's funny. Awesome. Like, I can you imagine if can you imagine if Dan rolled up and was just like, "I'm your fucking dad now." Yeah, oh, it's so good. Because so he didn't good. tell the but guy. That's like a threat nowadays, though, to people. Like, he hey, didn't tell him. Keep fucking up, and yeah. I'm going to marry your dad, and I'll be your fucking mom. That's what. Like, that's you what know Danny what I mean? yeah. to people all the time. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. He I'll stole be your it fucking from Dan dad. Yeah. yeah. Good on them. It's funny. I love that they Thanks pulled for the listening, David. It's really funny. <laughs> Avid listener, friend how, of the pod. I think I like him even more now. I feel like I can take a little bit of credit for that. Probably. Yeah, that's what we're saying. I'm giving it to you. When I heard it, I was like, dude, he fucking listened. There's no way. It was exactly what he says. Uh, let me ask you this. W did you find the wife? How hot is she? Oh, yeah. Did you? Can't, can't. She's can't Colombian. Uh, she's got to be hot. I'm sorry. She didn't. She's part of a cartel's family. There's no way. There's, I mean, who knows? Oh, she ha if she's around them, she's hot. She's hot, yeah. Sorry. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. She's I mean, they have a, she's tons like of money. former Miss they Columbia or something. They can pay for a hot yeah. woman. And if she is ugly, they will make her pretty <laughs> with sure. all the plastic surgery. Yeah. Sure. Uh, they're going to... I don't know. I can't find any pictures of the wife. We'll find her. I'll we'll find her. Uh, Don't I, worry. I can tell you this, though. They're going to we'll send that kid it. home in a fucking box. Yeah. Speaking of box, go to boxofawesome.com. Uh, one of our favorites, Jabes. Fave. Um, 
I said on the show the other day that it was for men and men only. I thought we had our own little club, Dan. Mm. It was incorrect. They have ladies' items yeah, as they well. Do. well. Look at if that. If you're looking for gifts for your uh, significant wife. other, wife, wife girlfriend, uh, boyfriend, mistress, fellow testicle eater. Yeah, whatever you're looking for. Um, look, the, the boxes for dudes <clears> are incredible, <throat> so I can only imagine the ones for women are as well. Mm -hmm. I actually gave you my last one, the knife. That rolls yes. with the hand. Yes. Um, I wonder if they have a box that's like uh, cocaine, or it's just all drug paraphernalia. That, that would, would be, be great. The best. Like it's like a, that's snorter. a steel box, a steel box straw, steel straw right? snorter, yep. and that little bullet thing that you can steel pop straws. Are, oh, I had no idea. I want a double nostril snorter. You know, just a. Just Ugh. to really get it in there like a fork, like you would stab a... There's like a sheet I'm of I'm sure meat. it's out there on the market somewhere. Like a no. sheet of acid in there. <laughs> oh, no, it just Give goes... These ideas. It's two that goes into a big <clears throat> funnel. Yeah, it's two that goes into <laughs> one. But it's I want an iron. I want it... To, oh, so you can get double have you seen the pleasure. How, have you seen people hooking, like, ma turning shop vacs into bongs? Oh, yeah. Like it just sucks the stuff. What if you did that with cocaine? <laughs> oh, that would be fun. Wow. Unless you do it with a brand new vacuum. Well, well, yeah. What are you I worried think... about? You're putting drugs into your body. You're worried about dust? Yeah. Get fucked. <laughs> Was that clean? I, I, yeah. I don't do them, so Hang like, on. I'm a noob yeah. in all this. So all I think is like, that's it gross. It smells like goddamn gasoline. I'm not worried about dust. I don't yeah, know. you're good. <laughs> that's um, fair. But look, that's a suggestion box of awesome. You have the best <laughs> shit on the planet. Why not get a little drug kit paraphernalia fuckery going on? I mean, there's nothing illegal about paraphernalia. Right. Like that. That's why there's like head It's just a straw. Shit, right? Use it how you want to use it. Well, I remember Tommy Chong got arrested for selling bongs online. Yeah, but that was infinity years ago. Well, check, check on the cocaine one. I don't know if you can sell a double snorter. I wish you could. Yeah, but you would just say it's a straw. Like, that's how... Yeah, head shops sell that head stuff. Shops. You can buy and like a... Get, yeah. You can buy like a crack pipe, mm -hmm. too. Yeah. At because it's like, an, yeah. it's like an oil diffuser or some shit. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome. The glass dick. Uh, Anyways, don't of, do that, by the don't, way. Yeah, don't do that. But speaking of awesome, Jesse, you go to boxofawesome.com today. <laughs> sign up. You get a fucking box full of magic once a month delivered to your house. Under 50 bucks. Promo code Drinking Bros gets you 20% off that first box. It's like fucking Christmas for dudes once a month. You guys have it with that bullshit of birch box, Jesse. Yes, we yeah, do. We do. You guys get a oh, tube no. of lipstick. We get dop kits, fucking travel bags. De whiskey decanters, like all kinds of cool shit. You're just getting a, a tube of lipstick. It's a rainbow. Tiffany, they give you like Too Faced, like Mac, like all like really good. Um, all done like with all that. Fancy Go stuff. to boxofawesome.com. Really but just like a sampler of it. Promo and pay code like drinking 10 bucks bros. And it gives you a box of it so you can like try new stuff. 20% off. Boxofawesome.com. Drinking brush 20% off. Next up, it's CNN. It's all good stuff, too. It's not like oh, L'Oreal They're not a sponsor, shit, Jesse. Uh, CNN settles with Nick Sandman. Really? That really fucking happened? Wow. Uh, you all remember, yeah, remember this, that fucking kid? He was the one that was kind of smiling awkwardly. Uh, <laughs> he was what, the, else he, what else was he supposed to do? He really? was, kind of it was against away. the Indians. The Oh, yeah, it was when the guys, the kids were out there, and they, it was like a group of them, and they were just talking. To, they had was wearing Trump gear. It was the, it was the white kid. He had like a snarky look. They all looked like, like not preppy the little aggressor. frat boys. Yeah, and yeah. He he's was, a they were standing there minding their own business. He's a rosy-cheeked, affluent white child. Of course, he looks like a douchebag. Yeah, yeah, but exactly. they settled. I, that's, that's crazy. CNN, CNN settled did. With him. Now he still the has. Number? They didn't say yet. They didn't Ooh. say because there's still two pending suits against NBC Universal and mm -hmm. the Washington Post. Yeah, this was for a hundred million dollars. Because of what they did though. to that, it was two seventy five is what they sued for, or two fifty. Oh, two fifty. But they didn't I, settle. I'm glad I, he my, did something about it. My guess is he probably got fifteen. You think he got fifteen million dollars? That's probably, still yeah. something. Whew. I mean, for if somebody, slandering your name, if somebody comes He's at Indian you, boy forever now. If somebody comes at you with a uh, two fifty, fifteen is a reasonable number to buy out. Oof. I think this is a good lesson. And he might get three of those. To the news. Man. So now Personally. he's even more affluent. He can afford to just yeah. stand in front of Indians all day. Mm. Yeah. If you're, if you're telling me Trump isn't making America great, go fuck yourself. Look at this kid's bank account. My God, man. If he got $15 million for this. But think of the reputation he's going to have his whole life. Just like you said, he's going to be known as like the Indian boy. The MAGA like, Indian boy. The rest of his life. Everyone. <laughs> and he's going to be all over the news. Like they didn't have. Look. There's a lot of people who didn't have the whole story. And they just broadcast it, all this fake shit kind of all over there the place. There are children around the country who did stupid shit in middle school, and now they're known forever for shit in their pants. Exactly. Yeah. They didn't get Where's justice 15, for them? They didn't get $15 million. What was exactly. it blasted all over the news? This guy, does he's... By a no, bunch of like, No, but news? who cares? Like, no, th this is stupid. 
You I, think so? Look. Yes. I like I'd, the... I, 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 would, I don't. You could call me MAGA Indian boy for $15 million. I'm telling you that that's right what now. I, like, well, that's what I'm saying, though. It's like he was like, okay, if you guys are going to play stupid games, let's win stupid prizes. We're not... And his parents were like, maybe his dad is an attorney. I don't know. But... um, he, If he's white, yeah. He looks or, like the kind of kid that would say my dad's an attorney. Yeah, he exactly. does. Not that I have a... Like, I don't think the kid did anything wrong. I just think this is kind of ridiculous. But I, what the, the part I do like about it is that... Uh, hey, he's getting money from it. CNN. I don't care about him. I just care about CNN having to pay. Yeah, him. exactly. Yeah. But that's what okay. I'm saying. That's though. what I like about Fuck it. Fuck those guys. It's like good. I mean, yeah. the, that's the only way to hold these dickholes uh, accountable. That's funny. That's, why, I that's, that's, that's why I'm okay with it. Is I because I feel like tossed. it's a good lesson. What's that? I thought the suit would get tossed. No, it was. In they the filed for dismissal that. like three times, and the three different judges told them to get fucked. Whew. I mean, they, it's clear they, what they did was wrong. Yeah. So it's like, what are you going to do? He's going to get something out of it. Clear they obviously had a case, too, which is why they continued to pursue it. Mm-hmm. And now he's got these other two networks. I, that's now why, they're going to have to settle That's why I'm okay with it. I'm not saying like, oh, congrats to like, the kid. Like, that's awesome. He's getting the money. But this is a great lesson learned for yeah. these, mm-hmm. you know, to maybe think before you start just pushing whatever out there. This reminds me of the, of the Richard Jewell thing. They tried to bury him. Yeah. You know? I'm surprised Donald Trump Jr. hasn't sued CNN. Like the president, yeah. you can say whatever you want to about it. Mm-hmm. And Don Jr. takes part in campaign activities and, and hangs out and administrative stuff as well. But um, there was a picture of him yesterday that CNN posted. Mm-hmm. And it was him holding a rifle. And it had a crusade cross on it, right? Which is the logo for about a million different companies, including uh, not Silencer Co., who's it? Noveski. Mm. The, the company that we worked with the, at Black Rifle to sell or put out a bunch of rifles right right <clears throat> they wrote this whole article on him with a picture of him holding the rifle and it was like a oh, picture of trump jr at fucking rifle range uh uh it has people concerned about hate groups because some hate groups use that symbol sometimes too like do you honestly think the son of the president is posting a picture he posted the picture by the way is posting a picture of himself with like, you think you'd be just standing there in a clan outfit, like, hey guys, exactly, yeah. what up? Yeah. Here I am. No, obviously, like, why He's would gonna... you be worried about that? Why is that even like that? That's like waiting outside and catching a picture with me with some asshole and be like, well, they must know each other, bro. Yeah, it's yeah. The dumbest As you like shit. walk out at the same and it's time, the most, it's just constant slander. It's the most irresponsible form of journalism. Like you're just making news. Mm-hmm. Your your job is to report it's news, like the not National make it. Enquirer now, yeah. or like TMZ. <clears throat> and even though even TMZ, I feel like is almost a little bit more factual than some of the shit that they're mm-hmm. these major news networks because they are know they can get apparently sued. well better are putting out. Yeah. So <laughs> crazy. Kid's a millionaire. Good for him. Yeah. Fuck it, man. Um, or his parents. Imagine that puss. He's getting <laughs> fifteen <laughs> mil in his fucking bank account. I'll fuck you, nerd banging. boy, for a million dollars. Yeah. Okay. Good on him. Good <laughs> on him. Uh, Puerto Rico had a 6.4 earthquake Tuesday. My God, man. These motherfuckers can't catch a break. If I think it's time to move from Puerto Rico. If there's yeah. a God, no. he does not like Puerto Rico. No. no. They yes. have done something wrong. Yeah. God only likes uh, Dabo Sweeney and Clemson. Oh, so. man. I feel um, bad for these guys. This, yeah, they it, just, yeah. They've been getting wrecked for a straight three years now. I know. Hurricanes. And not yeah. recovering. Earthquakes. Yeah. Well, even if they were to recover, something else comes. <laughs> it's now crazy. Because now I mean, they still haven't. Do they have power? No, uh, they're without power. The last the I heard, there's no power throughout the country. And in the southern uh, uh, areas, people think their houses are going to collapse now because of the earthquake has damaged the coastline so much. Man. Um, yeah, you may want to just like move here. Move to Miami, dude. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Just it's dope there. It is. It's busy. It's I mean, expensive. move to a suburb of Miami. Yeah, it's move super downtown. expensive. Miami, or you could but. take like a tent to San Francisco or something. Yeah, or you could just you make a new. There. Just pick some shitty Florida town and make it a new Miami. Make it new Puerto Rico. I would be fine with that. I don't want to go all the way down there anyways. Exactly. But I like Puerto Rican culture. I like going to Puerto Rico. I just don't want to go all the way down there. So if you bring it here, that's convenient for me. White. Yeah, <laughs> uh, San Francisco. By the way, Maybe. shit in the streets. So you don't have to. Look for any bathrooms on Zillow. You just look for a studio with no bathrooms. Oh, there you go. You just go outside. You can buy a micro a apartment. Yeah, three, you can buy a pod. Three, it's 300 square feet. Mm-hmm. That's wow. great. Yeah. You Do you need pod, more than that? You don't need a bathroom in there. You've got San Francisco. There's a bathroom on the floor. Beautiful. Like, like in the floor or on? Those are my no, no, favorite no, places. No, not like a rack. There's a bathroom on that floor. Like if you're on the second yeah, floor. Yeah, so everyone yeah. shares. Oh, there's so there's like one shared oh, bathroom. Yeah. Like a dorm. Like, like a dorm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Or. And it's about $6,000 a month. 
Yeah. <laughs> what? So exactly. have fun. No, they're no. probably. I would say that in San Francisco right now, three hundred square feet is probably twelve hundred. Oh, that that would be my guess. I don't know. Oh, why would you want to live there? Oh my god, that's ridiculous. Man, seriously. Uh, it's that time of year again, kids. Next story up is a new Girl Scout cookie out. Um, why me, do they always do this right after the fucking holidays? Get me fat. Let's just keep it on. Like they're the trend. They're trying to to trap the people that are trying to work out, and they're like, wait a minute, you can't, because we've got a. There's new Girl no Scout need cookie. for a new Girl Scout cookie though. No, like, they're they're great with the Thin Mints. This is there's what, no the Samoas, Samoas. Samoas. There's no cookie scientists out there. Like all of a sudden, he discovers quantum cookie theory. Like, oh, we've got a new cookie. No, cookies have been around forever. We figured it out, asshole. Yeah, this one's gonna suck. It's a lemon up. That's oh, no, it's called lemon up. It's a lemon Ugh. flavored <laughs> wafer with motivational statements like "I am a leader" or "I am a go getter." You know who else was a leader and a go getter? Hitler. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Um, he, has, he also made oh people wear pieces of flair. Yeah. <laughs> and he didn't need any motivational statements around him to think that he fair. was fair. Oh, no. That's so. fair. Lemon cookie sounds like. So basically. Yeah, it's disgusting. It sounds like the a worst. grandma's cookie that she would have laying around that's all like kind of moldy and yeah. like none of the ones the anyone crumbly. wants to eat. Yeah. It's like, hey, would you like this cookie that's 10 years old? Like, no, no, And you're like, no, cookie, but no. okay. Thank you. Yeah. It's like a pressed wafer. Yeah. That's got a slight lemon pledge. It's a pressed wafer. Terrible wafer. addition. Yeah. It's, uh, I don't get it. I don't Stick with the three major ones and you're good to go. Guess what? I'm still going to buy them. Yeah. Well, also, if you're out there and you have daughters or whatever, whomever this is for, uh, because look, the, the consumer of Girl Scout cookies is not Girl Scouts no. typically. It's other people. So why is I'm a go-getter necessary for an adult? If you need to read something like that to make your life go well, then you start need, a blog and you're getting that information <laughs> from cookies. Yeah. Can you what you need to do is jump into a volcano right now. Because only, that's oh it for you. You're done. God. Yeah. Life my is God. done. Like you're not going to make Can it. you imagine if that worked on you? Huh. Yeah. If you're the kind you of person. You know what I'm going to. If yeah. you're the kind of person that that works for, <laughs> like, I just don't know what to tell you. Life's, life's going to be rough. I'm doing really bad right now. Oh, my God. There's a box of motivational yeah. quote cookies. That, I have to get this. And that you're like person raised became from the Kamala Harris. You are yeah. a leader. You know what we should do? We should it, make cookie. our own that have actual motivational Reality. statements. Like, you don't have HIV. No, like, or you know what? <laughs> no, no, no. I don't have HIV. How about yeah, this right, one? Cookie. Put the cookie down, you fat piece of shit. You don't need to eat me today. Don't eat ten of me. Like, oh my gosh, oh, that would make me motivation right yeah. there to not eat as that many. That would make me cookies. want to eat it. So I bad. would eat it just oh. to spite that thing. <laughs> exactly. That. Yeah. Don't tell Fuck me how to live. I don't like life. authority. <laughs> this is America, and I will eat as many cookies as I want. <laughs> Be but happy. I get what you don't have now. herpes. Yeah, exactly. There you go. That's you a don't one. have <laughs> HIV. Like if somebody wakes up in the morning, you're like God, my fucking like, everything is going wrong. I'm in debt. Fuck. And you just pick up a cookie and you're like you know what? I'm gonna eat some cookies and just relax. And you pick up the cookie and it says you don't have HIV. You know you're you goddamn right. Yeah, right. I don't have HIV. It's like this bartender fucking that I used to work with. She was <clears> Slovakian. <throat> uh huh. And. Anytime we were complaining about anything, she would just say, at least you don't have retarded baby. <laughs> and it like worked, right? And you're like, you know what? You're right. Did I don't she, have any babies, but did she have a retarded baby? <laughs> no, but like that would, I don't know. Maybe. Because that would make it funny if she yeah. was like she dragging did. some retarded yeah, yeah. baby behind oh, Maybe. It was very gosh. down, but like, you know, they're very dry like that. But it, it worked. You kind of reminded yeah. me oh, yeah, right. of the Russian chick from uh, Shameless right there a little bit. Oh, yes. I liked her. Because that seems like something she would say. Yeah, at least you don't have retarded baby. <laughs> yes. And you're like, oh, and you like keep washing the dishes. You're right. Yeah. And yeah. I was like, yeah. Yeah. Life how, how do you handle that when somebody says something that is technically accurate, but it's still like fucked? Exactly. So you like, just kind of shut up, though. It definitely yeah. did shut us up. Like, what are we going to say? No, my feet hurt, though. And you're like, really? Baby? Retarded? <laughs> you're like, oh, okay, yeah, no, you're right. You're right. <laughs> you shrug it off. Eh. Okay. I'll see it dimples afterwards. We'll oh, karaoke this, this later. This is weird now. Okay. I'm going to keep washing the dishes. Is dimples a strip club? No, it was a karaoke joint now. We worked there too. You did? Yeah, but they made you do that. Do you remember the birthday blowjob shot that they used to make you oh, do? Yeah. Before me too? Before that word shot, I was thinking about the birthday. I thought that was going somewhere else. But yeah, yeah, the shot. Yeah. Yeah, where they put a blowjob. It's like all yeah. uh, whipped cream and they put it in the guy's crotch and then you as the waitress <clears> need to take the shot. From the the dude who's a customer. You had to do that. Yes, before it's before. Like I said, before me too. But uh. anyway, if, if it was a guy's birthday, that's what you. Had to <laughs> wow. Mm. Do you know there's actually a blowjob shot at Patty's, which is in North Carolina? I guess it's literally out of a penis. 
Like you take a shot oh, into that. Penis. There is, yeah. there is, is that totally a thing for like all the drunk, horny girls to do. Like, hey guys, yeah, look, yeah. I'm totally stuck on this exactly. big painter. There are no, by the way, there are no me too rules at Patty's. Zero. Yeah. Well, that's still, a, it's right? A huge sausage still. fest it's there anyway. Or girls just want to get the only girls like that are coming. The only girls that are coming in there are trying to get banged for yeah. sure. Yeah. Which well, is good. That's a good environment. Like just that's sure. like it's know, a bit, yeah. Back they in the day, all go there to get banged. Yeah, back good in the day, them. if you went to a bar, like I, w- I went to a bar because I wanted to meet someone who's twenty-one or older, right? Right. Now you can do the same thing at a gas station because you can only buy cigarettes if you're twenty-one, I guess. But anyways, like you know what you're going for. Yeah. yeah. Everybody's there for the same reason. Yeah. That's why gay bars are funner than straight bars because everyone straight knows bars, the deal. Everybody knows the deal. Straight bars are full of all the gay this bars pretense. are great because yep. I can hit on nonstop and I got gay dudes to dance with. Well, that's not <laughs> really why. Where that's why Dan that. goes for sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I just go. He's you know, grinding on them gay boy dicks. I, <laughs> whoa. That's what he well, does. Tiffany, <laughs> that's what he does. He's having a, a Miller Lite with some <laughs> yeah, with right. some other men. You Dan know? is See, completely different. Listen, I know I know Dan. You guys don't. <laughs> oh, oh! You know the real. I, think we I should, know the real. We should band. dress up like in, uh, for, like we're going to a sporting event, and yeah. just start going to gay bars and hanging out. Face paint, jerseys. <laughs> yeah. yeah, dude, they number would one love fingers. you guys. Yeah. that would be like, oh, counterproductive. We're here, the, we're here to watch the game, guys. Yeah, they're like, on? ooh, what is yeah. it military? Just try to That's order a big wings. fetish for gay dudes, right? Uh, I don't know. I want to fuck a man from the service. Little. You know, huh? it's a fetish for. I think it's a fetish for a lot of people. Yeah, a lot of people love uniforms. And they, huh. they have a fetish mm. for them. I used to like valets a lot. Oh. Next up, Australia's burning to the ground. <laughs> yeah, what oh is my gosh, going on? This I don't, I don't, I don't actually I know what's it. going on here. Is the why, arson thing real? What's why happening? is this still happening and what caused it? Well, apparently what caused it were, according, if you believe police, so let's just go through some details. Um, they've arrested a shitload of people, like 183 so far. Is it arson? Um, some of it is negligence, them, yeah. right? Okay. Mo- the vast majority of it is like campfires they are throwing cigarette butts out or whatever. I don't know how they've like, if they have cameras where they yeah, saw exactly. this stuff or whatever the fuck. People or, turning them in or something. Yeah, I don't, I don't, turning with, um, I don't, don't know. Or if they're like doing DNA tests on cigarette butts. Don't um, they have like, um, fire teams, <laughs> like fire investigation teams who actually are able to tell yes. like the start. They can of, tell what starts it. But like if you, like backdraft, if it's, if it's a cigarette butt, then. How do you figure out whose it was? I don't know. Well, That's I, the yeah, question. I don't know that. At any rate, there are 24 specific people that were arrested for intentionally starting these fires. Jeez. Shit. Mm. Yeah. And here's the fallout so far. So 24 people, human beings, have died. Yes. Um, about 18 million acres of oh land God. have been burned. And about half a billion animals have been affected in some way, displaced or whatever. And then about, they, they say the death toll for animals is in the millions now. Oh, oh yeah, I, I heard it was actually a half a billion had died. No, it's it's affected. Mm-hmm. Okay, so they're like displaced, but I mean, who right. knows at this point? Like, yeah, that's, this is a major ecological disaster. So yeah, um, this I, this hurts my heart. My big question is, how do you punish these twenty four? If they're convicted, how do you punish them? Twenty four people have died. You got to die, right? Yep. Gasoline, yeah. light them up. Them. I was, was yeah. going to say the same thing. Like, <laughs> I saw a picture because everybody's posting. Well, now they're starting to post pictures, trying to get this story out more. I've been seeing a lot of people trying to for a while. Exactly, because yeah. it's, it's been buried in the U.S. media um, because the impeachment is so fucking important. Uh, I saw a guy who was putting koala bears I saw that in his car in his station wagon. Yeah, and there was like eight of them in the station wagon, trying to save them. Yes, people were doing that same thing with kangaroos and stuff too. Man, a kangaroo. Because they've been coming. These trying animals. Trying to get a kangaroo into your it's car? A no, but Imagine listen, that these animals have literally yeah, been coming up to people, Yeah, because you'll get pulled over if there's no seatbelt. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, no, but the, the animals have been coming up to individuals as in like a, you know, a sign of like help. Um, they're burnt, you know. Like, what are you going to do? Ha- and they're half alive. And I've, of course, I don't think they're going to attack because they are barely living. You want a roo to wake up in the backseat of your car? Mm. I don't care. You get a little foot to the I'm beak. Gonna, I'm going to cuddle it. Oh. And he's gonna keep kicking, but I'll be like, I'm here for your buddy. I want to get in a kangaroo's pouch. Uh. Yeah. Dan would stuff himself back inside. Just <laughs> re-ruin. Can you imagine? Is there me? any it's big enough? Re-ruin. I think there might be. Can you imagine me <laughs> oh just like gosh. peeking out from a kangaroo's pouch? <laughs> Can anyone make that, please? Someone make it's a that fetish. fucking art. Yeah, somebody make a <laughs> Dan an art in of a, Dan Dan in a kangaroo pouch peeking out of a kangaroo out. pouch. Is there anything, though, that you guys have seen? So I know that I've seen some, like, pages and companies trying to say, hey, we're <clears> trying to raise money, or all these T-shirts are, like, 100% is going to There's the foundations. There's a couple. Like, is there a really good foundation that people can give to, that I can give to, that's really actually going to help out what's a, going um, on over there's there? There's a couple. So uh, our buddy, Kirill, 
Um, God damn it. Is he? Oh, he is? Slut Whisperer. So he yeah. was looking for a, a way. He raised money within his community and, and tried to find somewhere to give it, right? Yeah. And then someone from uh, a fire brigade there called him and said, hey, this dude from our fire brigade got, got killed last week because the truck got blown over because of that. The winds were the fire truck. Yeah. The winds were so high, the fire truck got blown over Man. and killed this dude. So <clears throat> they've been collecting money and donating it to his wife, the guy's wife and child. So okay. that's one. If you want to look for other ones, uh, go find uh, Danny Warsop's wife, Victoria on uh, social media. I think it's uh, Toria's secret Mm -hmm. is her name. And she's, she's from there. And uh, originally back in the day, I guess when she was a child, but she's got some connects over there. I think that she's been kind of pushing money that way as well. Okay. Gotcha. And then Joaquin Phoenix, I think is doing something. Is he? (laughs) Oh my God. Listen, so there was a woman, there was a woman who tweeted out because she wanted to help in some way, shape or form. Mm -hmm. And she tweeted out, um, Hey, if you send me money to send to Australia, I will send you an inappropriate picture of me. Oh, yeah. She raised oh. $750,000. She's almost Smart. raised a million dollars. Really? Nice. It blew up. It got retweeted and posted out. Her, apparently, her family has disowned her. Apparently, like the internet took all of her shit down, like her Twitter account down, her IG account down, her Facebook account down. She got on TikTok the other day, which is where I found that out, and said, hey, this is me. This story blew up. I've raised like over seven hundred thousand dollars doing this, but right. unfortunately, n- my loved ones are completely disowned me because of this. Because I'm sending out all these like nude pictures of me. I guess. God damn justice but for she, sex workers. <clears throat> how sad is that though? To kind of be like, hey, let's give money, and the only one person that's getting a ton of money to so go shitty. to Australia is because she uh, get nudes with it. Do you guys know Celeste Barber? Yeah. Yeah. So she raised like thirty four million. Holy Good for fuck. her. Are you yeah, well, and she's this girl that does, you know, like every dumb yeah. picture that like Kim Kardashian posts. She's like a regular mom, and she like tries to do the same thing and like but does it's the exact it's really same. Funny. I so don't it's know really her. funny. She, her but mom's um, from she's there. Australian. Yeah, yeah, and she will. She posted a news article of her mom, but an influencer. So yeah, uh, mm. you know, but th- but then again, I don't know where she's putting the money. I don't. You know, it's it's weird. Like we're not hearing that much about it, and we're not hearing where to help maybe they're just kind of like oh we're just hearing like you know about it. thoughts yeah. and prayers and that's why for australian asking. yeah australia sorry. don't go to fosters.com um oh that didn't work no didn't work when i mm. went there i was just end up buying a bunch of beer but uh look for something legit yeah legitimate well that's the problem with the fucking charity because you never know how much money's going where that's, yeah. right. that's why i and brought people- up Kirill's thing so his name is Kirill was here on instagram if you want to go look it's the third post down uh, right now, I'm sure it'll be further down. He posts a lot, but look for a picture of uh, a dude and his wife. The dude's wearing a collared shirt and a sweater, and the wife is wearing a red sweater. And uh, you can give money directly to that family if you want. I mean, if that's something you're concerned about. Um, yeah. And then uh, Mel Gibson, we reached out to him. He said he's not Australian anymore. So. <laughs> oh, okay, gotcha. Yep. No. So know. he's uh, just kind of backed away from that. Huh? Well, he was just he shouting lost the, accent. the N word just... over and over. Like yeah, yeah. Tits. And we were like, kind of like, okay, yeah. we like hung up like on him. Mel, it's Mel. We're trying to raise money, bro. <laughs> I think he was against Jews, not. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so. Didn't he use oh, the word a yeah, couple he times? Yeah, he did. Talking to his ex-wife when he was talking to his ex-wife. Uh-huh. Oh, he's all—he's uh-huh. right. across the board a yeah, great yeah, racist. Yeah, 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 he's a yeah. great racist. Like one of the great best. Stand up. One of the best to ever do it. Best racist of all time. Yep. Good for him. Yeah, good for him. Sarcasm. Yeah. Is there a racism hall of fame? Oh. Oh yeah. John Rocker's in it? Yeah. As if there's not, I'm sure there needs to be. So We've got some knows. great racists out there. Uh, Don uh, Imus is in there. Some all-time. He just passed away. Um, Don Imus called a group of black female basketball players a bunch of nappy-headed hoes. Yes. Which is The Rutgers basketball oh team. God. It's insensitive at the most. Yeah. Like it's, it's like when... Uh, he said that publicly? It's like when... Yes. Ro- Oh it's yeah, a, on the he on had the a radio, radio show. It's like when Roseanne referred to somebody as a uh, a gorilla or some shit. Half ape. Yes, half, she said she looked or like from a gorilla. Planet oh, of the Apes. Yeah, yeah, or something like that. I mean, look across yes, the scene. What she said was accurate, but you can't say you that. Can but you can't evolution. say that. You can't yeah, say yeah, that. Yeah, you have yeah, to think. Yeah. I mean, I know that seems weird. This is not a PC thing. That is something you should actually be like. Well, this is probably going to be taken that way. 
Just don't say that. Just don't it was, say it. Was, it. What, was it Valerie Jarrett? Was I that don't her know. Name? Yeah. There's, it's a like, there's, a bu- there's a bunch of other ways. You could just call her an ugly bitch. Yeah, but here's the thing. Some people say this so mm. much in their pr- like private lives that maybe they, it just slips out in their public well, life. She, uh, 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 by the way, she said she was on Xanax or... That's what she I'm had saying, a lot though, is you excuses, have to be careful yeah. if you're on Ambient. something and you're constantly talking about it and you're out in public and it slips. Like, th- there's no getting it back. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. So maybe just not be as a sucky, you know, don't be a sucky person. Yeah. <laughs> just be a racist in private. Do you know what I mean? It's like, <laughs> is that what you're saying? No, but I'm saying since they're racist <laughs> in private... It's coming out publicly. Like, yeah, maybe no, exactly. stop being racist. That'd yeah. be a great saying for It's a muscle for, memory for sort of thing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Don't be a racist yeah, don't on be a racist cookie. Stop on, being on racist. Cookie. Yeah. Stop being How racist. about that one? Or be racist in private on the cookie. No, because yeah. I mean? it comes yeah. out yeah. in public. Yeah. Yeah. Can you and imagine? And that'll be the next cookie. Racist cookies. Oh. oh boy! Oh my lord! The, the, oh my the, lord! The, everybody's everyone's thinking, like Eesh. right now. Everybody at home is thinking of racist things to Cringe. put on cookies. To put on Every the cookies. And you're, oh my god. you're all pieces of shit. I just want you to know that. Yeah. yeah. The things that you guys were thinking. I my god. Oh. Uh, Who's filthy. the real racist here? Exactly. It's all of you, apparently. You guys. <laughs> <laughs> um, next up, we got <laughs> buyraycon.com forward slash drinking bros. <clears throat> Um, if you're listening to the show right now through a set of these, God help you. God help you for everything we've said today. They're really great. Perfectly. Yes, they're great. They're super fucking loud. And that. like nobody really knows. So because they're small. So when you, when you put them in, you're laughing out loud in public. You, know, you can hold them up can to camera. Those are the new ones. Well? Oh, yes. Yes. They're the best. Yeah, they're the and they have different ears, I feel like. No, I know. But they have all different sizes awesome. that yeah. you can put on in there. So they will fit literally. I'm with you. I mean, a Every ear, I have a big I would ear think. hole, yeah. But they I come with different one. size rubber yeah, pieces. Yeah, so they have really small okay. ones or really big ones. Really big ones, yeah. They come with all the sizes. I should get those then. Yes. Because my beats suck. They're great. Um, and these, by the way, are only 55 bucks if you go to um, buyraycon.com for really slash drinking bros. Wireless, they recharge in a box. They last longer than six hours. Uh, phenomenal. Um, big fan of these guys, and they just keep adding hours. The the version before was like five hours. Now these are six hours. That's I'm, I'm impressed with right. the price. I gotta be honest. Yeah. Same. Everybody else is too, and yeah. that's why everybody's buying these fucking things. Dan and I used to see them in airports all the time, mm-hmm. and they came on as a sponsor, and I was just like, "Oh shit, those are what everybody's wearing." Yeah. Uh, so go to buyraycon.com forward slash drinking bros today. Next up, Samsung has created a BB-8 style personal assistant that follows you around your house. What? Uh, for those of you who've seen the latest Star Wars films. You're obviously familiar with the BB-8. It's basically a ball that just rolls around the ground, and they're with calling a half it ball on top of it. Bali, <laughs> just Bali, you know. Oh my god. Yeah. What do you I think of that? I don't know if that what is. What does the, it do? It's like, it's, well, it's like, like a, it's basically yeah, like a, it's basically like Alexa, but it follows you around the house. Have we become that lazy? We can't even walk over near an Alexa or Google and say, "Hey, Google." Like, well, tell they me about the think they, they think part part of the article says that they think it will resonate with people who have animals. That have pets that are used to having something following them around the so house. So they alone. think that it's going to be better for the people who are lonely out there because they'll have some like an electronic ball. Look, we're all lonely because of all around. the drugs that uh, we've been doing over the last X years. Um, no one produces serotonin anymore. Yeah. So everyone's lonely even when they're with people right now. What drugs decrease serotonin? Um, all. All the SSRIs, basically. Hmm. Yeah. So like any antidepressant, and yep. then um, if you get crazy, all ecstasy and pure MDMA. Do you get down that? You, you ever taken pure MDMA? Mm-mm. Molly. You ever gone to like a Molly? <clears throat> no. Gone to a Rascal Flats? No, a Rascal what? Flats. <laughs> I was thinking like Dave Matthews trip. or something. No, like. Dave Matthews. It sounds like a nightmare. <laughs> no, it's great. <laughs> on uh, Molly? It's great everywhere. I, there's not a bad no, place you there's can There's not ecstasy. a bad place. That's why I'm, ask, that's why I'm asking because I'm like, what would Oh, a funeral would be a bad place. A funeral would be a bad place. It seems yeah. like they put a lot yeah. of thought into oh the functionality of this device, not so much the name. Bali? Right. Bali. That was the last thing. Bali? 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 Eh. Like, are they going to call a phone, their next phone, Talkie? <laughs> 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 it's fucking stupid. Driving. Try it again, Samsung. I Get just a don't new marketing want, team. I don't want another thing to, to record me. No. I like, guess I, everything Samsung, else records me. I'm Samsung got it. tired of waiting for you to walk into uh, listening distance to one of their devices because they've been they've been Trying. pounded by the federal government for turning the, the microphone on on their televisions. Samsung? Yeah. Wow. In 2013, they got fucking hammered by the federal government for doing that shit. You know they're doing it now. You just can't prove it. Yes. Yeah. 
And like, they've already got AI for YouTube and you know all these hosting sites. I mean, shit. I our host is Podbean. Not that I'm promoting them because I, I don't give a fuck about them. There's just very few podcast hosts. <laughs> sure, yeah. um, I mean, they're good. Eh, they're okay. It's easy to upload and everything else, yeah. right? And it, for whatever reason, it shut off Sunday night, so the show was late by like 16 minutes, which we don't fucking miss. And yeah. I was pretty pissed off about it, so I wrote them an, an email because they don't have a phone number. That's like the... Oh, the cool thing the now because they want to deal with people. Oh, that's what Facebook and Instagram does. So, so did Lindsey mother- Graham after we tore his asshole out of his body. Exactly. Yeah. Um, those no motherfuckers phone. lured us over from Libsyn. And uh, I said, look, with with how big our show is, yeah, and I, we know you're scraping all of our fucking data at the end of it and selling it to God knows who. Yeah. I don't give a fuck about that. Just use some of that money so that there's a goddamn phone that I can call you three times a year for a tech issue mm. and then it'll be fixed like that. It's crickets after that. Really? They, oh yeah, they didn't even bother responding. Wow. Yeah, and I even I even it's wrote ballsy. in the guy's name of who like brought us over, and he he got fired from the company. And I go, you know, his name was Vernon. He was rad. And I go, he has gone to shit since mm-hmm. then. Um, the reason why I bring this up is I had said some negative shit about Libsyn, mm-hmm. uh, which was fucking totally true. I got an email <clears throat> three months later, and it was from an old ass episode, and I was like, you don't listen to the show. There's 800,000 podcasts out there. Yeah. And you're going to call me out for one thing I said on your show? No. There's an AI program that they're running behind this shit sure. that triggers their company name and it flags it and it says, would you like to listen? You know? And they pulled out that one clip and sent it to me <laughs> word for word on that month. You know what wow. I want? I want, I don't care about any of this shit. Me neither. I want a fucking little AI robot that, will, that knows how to do shit that helps my life. Like, like what? what? I don't need yeah. you to turn on music for me, bitch. I can do that myself. Okay. What else? Do you want, what do you want to do? Go find me drugs. <laughs> well, yeah, I, well so that, you, yeah, so you can send it into so a bad like a area. Monitor, thing yeah. monitor my biometrics so you know when I need to smoke some more weed. Yeah. So like, is, is he drug? paying too much attention right now? Pimp. Yeah. Like, hey, sir, you should probably hit this joint. And he fucking little arm comes up and he, a lit joint to my lips. I don't even have to move because I don't <laughs> like moving. <laughs> a little arm comes I like, up. I like Again. the idea of sending it to a bad neighborhood to yeah, pick up your like, drugs. Yeah, they get your drugs oh for you. Yeah. Like, that's, that's great. Awesome. And then that like thing Mars. can get arrested. Well, that's the thing, though. Is if it's yours and your property, if it gets arrested, would you get arrested then? No, you Prove teach it. it to say, I'm no, with... No, there's a self-destruct. I'm, oh, my God. My <laughs> owner is Steven yeah, Johansson There's a self-destruct Portugal. button on there. That's great. What I would a self-destruct button would be Yeah, it just wipes them. Like, you can do a remote wipe, memory wipe. On I love all of this. Uh, now that I'm in for, but but now, this bullshit they're selling you is not going to be like that. I was going to say, if they want these things following people around though to make them feel less lonely, why don't they shape them as like a an animal, like uh, a dog or a cat instead of a ball? Why don't they gear Here's, them towards because of people with disabilities Boston Dynamics is already freaking people out with that shit. Yeah, they're yeah. making these goddamn murder dogs. Why do they have dogs? to make them look like that? God, <clears throat> make them furry. I know. It's funny when. Uh, Black Mirror did that episode. Dude. They didn't even have to change the way the thing looks. It's exactly the same. It's the same and goddamn device. I need to watch that one then. Do you remember the one where they're Season tracking okay. tracking the kid? Remember when yeah. they put the thing? Dude, I just saw a thing on that. Oh, yeah, yeah, That yeah, they yeah. have that now. I'm like, yeah. how is Black Mirror so... <laughs> You know, is it like the new Simpsons? I did just see like, something super cool today, though, technology-wise. It's this. Uh, there's this face mask that could become artificial gills for humans. Oh and it's, my god! It's not a it's not a rebreather or a respirator. It's something that pulls oxygen out of water and puts it like you breathe it in just with the mask on as you're swimming around or living. You could live underwater essentially. That's great. And That's then weird. the a, uh, applicability could move to space as well, right? Like if you're in an atmosphere that didn't have enough oxygen, mm-hmm. you could wear a mask like that and you would be able to get oxygen from whatever is in the atmosphere, provided there is oxygen present, right? Man. Be dope as fuck. Until you're able to terraform the planet, of course. Oh. Yeah. Uh, my penis gets small in water, though. I don't, I don't want to be in there. <clears> when you guys say Black Mirror, the only thing I keep thinking of is Chris and I watched that a little bit, and the last episode we watched was kind of ruined it for us, was the two guys in the, the video the game. The gay dudes, yeah. Well, they Why did gay. that ruin it for you? It didn't really ruin it, but it, could, it was like, the it weirdest was really one. Weird, I have to though. say, it was like, the it was weirdest really one. Really weird because like there was, was two the guys one. and they got into like a virtual video game together, and then they start like their best friends, and then they start like fucking, and I'm, we're just like, I, I was just, like, this is this is interesting. that shouldn't have been. Was that the first one you saw? It was like the second or third. <laughs> yeah. Okay, it should have been. And then, oh, that you should have started with the was, first one. It was well, the congressman fucking the pig? Yeah, that's the first one. That was like one of the first one. The prime And if you don't like that, you won't like Black Mirror. So like that's a good introduction, I think. Yeah. Okay. No, it was good. Like it was interesting, but to me, I was just like, "Is 
I don't know. It was just a lot going on in my head to try to process it all. Sure. The best part, I thought, was the ending where she was like, cool, I'm going to go fuck this hot dude once a month. You can go fuck your best friend in this video game. Yeah. Uh-huh. I was like, good for them working that out. Good for her. Like, yeah. Good for them. <laughs> Yet another good great thing them. to watch on Ecstasy. You know? so. Dude, that would probably be good. It's just too, um, it's yeah. eerily on the money. It's fucking crazy. Yeah. Yeah. I uh, think. Uh, anyway, last but not yeah. least, a 103-year-old World War II veteran is finally being honored for his time in the military 75 years later. Dan, I'll let you tell people yeah, about this what one. Is, yeah, why? yeah, so apparently this guy's his name is Peter Fantasia, which doesn't sound real. Uh, <laughs> he's from, Sorry, that's uh, his real name? Yeah, Somerville, okay. Massachusetts. He received eight medals, including a Bronze Star. Um, and i don't know like the the whole situation is weird his it's he was he served in uh the third battalion 104th regiment of the 26th infantry division as a medic during world war ii he was captured in uh france in 1944 while he was tending to other wounded people uh, and he was held as a prisoner of war for about a year um he said the reason he hasn't received his medals yet although he's received some he got a silver star for that particular thing but he got other medals for other events um, he said the reason he never received them is because when he got home, like he'd been gone for so long, he just wanted to get home. He didn't really give a shit. He, did, he, he went, did he go back to his unit? Um, I'm sure he outprocessed, but I don't, I don't know exactly what happened. He, they didn't really get into it because he's 6,000 years old. Yeah. But it's cool that finally this shit happened, I guess. Um, I, I, the whole thing is weird to me. Like, I don't understand why it took so long. I think they probably wow. just didn't believe his name for Maybe. a very long time, you know? <clears throat> Fantasia? Is this the story with a lot of soldiers or just from World War II or no? Just him? No, it was just so it really probably what it was and I, I don't mean this to sound shitty but it's it, this this representative Seth Moulton from uh from Massachusetts probably was doing it as a PR stunt. Mm. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Hey, this yeah, 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 this yeah, fucking yeah. old veteran didn't get his medals. <laughs> Let's award them to him. Mm. Well, a congressman can't award medals to a fucking so sad. But we can yeah. set it up or whatever. But it's it's interesting to me that uh, and the guy seemed like he was in pretty good uh, pretty good spirits over the whole thing. That's good. Yeah, right. I mean, he's getting recognition for what he did. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> you know. I mean, he's got a silver star and a bronze star. I mean, um, he's a hundred and three. Yeah. Good for him. On a lot yeah. of drugs, but yeah. I mean, if he's happy and living, you know. Yeah. Living this is life, what, the article still. says it took so long for him to get home that he didn't seek after his medals once he got home. So he must have out processed in Europe and then been sent straight back. That's why I'm wondering, it. like, if it was, and it was just one of those things where he yeah. probably didn't. I'm sure maybe he didn't care as much because he just wanted to be home and probably with his loved ones. After being a prisoner of war too, I don't blame the dude. Probably the last thing. Yeah. I don't really care about medals and stuff like that either. So there's a lot of times people are like, well, no, you should care. Like, go through this process, and of course, you kind of have to do it. But I'm sure back then there wasn't really as much of a hey, 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 mm-hmm. do A, B, and C things. And when he got out, he was done with it all. Yeah, <laughs> shit, that's a long time. At any rate, that's what I mean, though. 1945, well, 44, 75 years. How did this get yeah. brought up? How did someone find out that he didn't have his medals? <clears throat> Who knows? You know, yeah. Like, did someone dig and they're looking for something? You Who just knows? like you said, PR related, yeah. or did he say it to someone and then? Someone dug a little bit more. Not that that necessarily makes it bad. I'm not accusing this con- congressman of anything weird or anything. It's people do that. Like if it's I, a good thing, if I, even yeah. if it's a PR, yeah. Thing, yeah. right? If I heard no, about it's a good thing. If, I, if, if we as a show heard about something like that, we would probably try to do something about it as For well. Sure. So it is what it is. I'm glad the guy got uh, recognition. The medics now that I know are some of the fucking craziest motherfuckers alive. Like they just do shit. They, they, I've, I've, I've seen people... Uh, treat wounds and literally do like field operations on people in the middle of gunfights mm-hmm. and i'm just like i it, it it's it's very bizarre to me how someone could do that um because my first instinct is to shoot back um and so are they theirs usually but they somehow suspend their to take care instinct of else. to do that to take care of other people even though they could get hit too yeah. in the process it's fucked up <clears throat> that's a, that takes a lot of heart it's probably lot, why they're I mean? the meanest pieces of shit in the entire military like combat medics are assholes, but you know you need an asshole every now and again to poop with. So yeah. Um, uh, with uh, that, <laughs> let's get to the drinking bro of the week. Nailed it. That did that just hit you? What that asshole then? Yeah, the poop, the poop <laughs> is good. Uh, drinking bro of the week submitted by James Hill. He says, "Hey, drinking bros, I got a drinking bro of the week. I'd like to nominate for drinking bro of the week." Um, 
Panola County, Texas Sheriff Deputy Chris Dickerson. Officer Dickerson died in the line of duty on December 31st, 2019, uh, about seven days ago. Um, at 2 a.m. while conducting a traffic stop on a small farm road. Although I didn't know Officer Dickerson personally, I've heard great things about him and his service to Panola County, and I think he deserves the drinking bro of the week. Uh, love the show. I appreciate it, guys. No, I, we appreciate it as well. Um, fuck, man. Uh, you don't have to know everybody to, to submit drinking bro of the week. It can be anyone. So it could be somebody great in your community like this uh, that is unknown to the rest of the world. And this is an opportunity to uh, share their spirit with everyone. So cheers. Cheers to you. Thanks for the submission, James Hill. Uh, Great show, kids. A lot of fun. Looking forward to Drinking Broettes, the spinoff show airing Monday night at Eat. 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 8 p.m. 8 p.m. Facebook, Eat. Instagram, yes. you can find us, even TikTok <clears throat> at Drinking Broettes yes. Podcast. Uh, everywhere, right. all the time. It'll be uh, weekly, so mm-hmm. it'll be up. We don't, we don't miss. We don't miss around here, kids. You and know the this. video show will be on our Drinking Bros Podcast page on YouTube, yep. along with Ross Patterson Revolution, Drinking Bros Sports, yep. and now Drinking Broettes. We hope to add more shows in the future as well, which we are working on. Uh, and I can't wait. Congratulations, ladies. I know you've been working hard and uh, it's you. really, really fucking funny. So subscribe and uh, get a little ladies in your life. Yeah. If you don't have one, you can you can pop in some Raycons and hear you them in your pretend. ear holes. Yeah. Nothing like pretending people are your wives or girlfriends from a distance. <laughs> we got a bunch of pretend friends on a podcast. This is great. <laughs> <laughs> For D'Anthony and Anthony Holloway, Tiffany Hart, Jesse Wiseman, I'm Ross Patterson. This is Drinking Bros Fake News. Good night, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>